I wasn't planning on videotaping it, but I um, I was able to catch a little bit of Hudson getting his braces on today. So we've been planning for him to get braces for a long time. So the place that we go to, I'm able to start bringing him in really young. And uh, I don't even think Hudson went to the dentist yet. <laughs> he never went to the dentist. So we only bring them in if they have to, but uh, his upper teeth are crowded. They, he has, he's got two, uh, oh, hold on one second. Hi, I just need to get a gift card. All right, you can just um, come on up to the window and we'll do that for you. Okay, thank you. Yep. Okay, so I just have to get a gift card because I'm getting um, something for our uh, youth group leader. Anyways, so he has been going to the orthodontist for... I was going to say, it's got to be like four or some years. years. So we just do it early so that they can keep a watch on when we think that we can get braces on. <laughs> and just like, and then um, with Gage, he was 10 when he got his braces on. And now he's 17, so his teeth are nice. Um, but some of my other kids don't need braces. Uh, Eli's are pretty pretty okay he said that he doesn't really care if he gets braces or not but Hudson's are really high up his two eye teeth are really high up and they need to come down and he has some crowding so he just got oh boy all right so he just got his braces put on and he got uh red and green bands I'll leave a picture Christmas yeah, so it is December 21st. They have their youth group party tonight. And he's like, great. Um, but he has to wait a couple more months before he gets his bottom braces on. So he only has his top ones on. Um, I'll leave a clip right here on him getting his braces on. So this is what it looks like. Your tongue, once I get it in, I'll have you put it in this little slot. It's gonna be a little uncomfortable at first, but I'll make sure you're comfortable before we go any further. Any questions? Because once I have this in, you won't be able to talk to me. <laughs> Just, if it hurts, point and raise your hand, okay? All right, so open nice and wide for me. That's a big, big contraption for a little mouth, I know. Almost in. Okay, is it poking or hurting? Make sure your tongue's in that little slot. Nope, bring your tongue back. Yep, perfect. Anything poking or hurting? No? Okay. I'm gonna blow a little air on. I'm just gonna rinse a little bit better here. Is he the first one in the family to have braces? Mm -mm. No, okay. I had mine done, uh, I want to say nine, eight or so years ago okay. here. And then my 17 year old had them done at 10. He was oh, 10 okay. when he got his on. So you guys kind of know about braces. Yeah. So mm -hmm. not new movie, you guys. No. So that helps. It just has to sit in for a minute here.
Okay, so yeah, we'll maybe we'll take you guys along the whole process and I'm sure I think I you you think they said two years. I think they said that they, I know, they I forgot to ask meeting, again. Mm -hmm. They said two to three years. Oh, okay. And it's not that his teeth are really bad like on the bottom, it's just mainly the top ones that that he needs it. All right, so I have to pay for my gift card, so I'll come back on in a minute. We are home from Hudson getting his braces. I ended up going by my friend's house to help her paint one of her kids' walls in her bedroom, and she was gonna be surprising her with a new like setup in her room, and I offered to help paint that wall. So I took the four younger ones with me, and Hudson is surviving a partial day, partial day with braces. So we did. It's yeah, it's already. He already has a wire that's bothering him. So I did a little snippy snip. Did, did, uh, did you ask Eli if he wanted some? Um, so he has the back wire that was bothering him. So when I have braces, the guy told me that I could do that. So I did that. And it should be fine. The only problem is it's, what day is it? Wednesday, and they're closed on Friday. I mean, no, they're closed on Monday, but we're supposed to get a huge snowstorm either tonight or tomorrow. So I won't be going anywhere. I actually need to do another grocery haul before or by Friday because I have to work on Saturday for work. So eight to one, I have to work. And then we have church service at three, but we have cookies and stuff at two o'clock on Saturday. So I need to get the groceries that I need for this weekend on Friday. I have all our Christmas food, but I needed to get like for stuff for taco dip and I can't get that now. Otherwise it won't last until Saturday. So that I'm gonna pick up Friday. Tonight, I am going to run to town because there's some last minute things that I need to get uh, for Christmas, some gift cards. And then also, I need to make a wreath for a uh, youth group tonight. So I'm going to be making that fruit uh, wreath. I also am going to be doing my nails because when I went to go buy... <laughs> when I went to my... You got your Christmas shirt on? Yeah, somebody gave us some clothes for her and she got this little cute little Christmas shirt. All right, so my nails are full of, what, well, they're painted, but I have like green and stuff from when I was painting at that lady's house. So we're gonna paint my nails quick. Um, tomorrow and Friday should be pretty mild on what I need to do. I still have to wrap my granddaughter's gifts and that's about it and then um some odds and end things before christmas and i have some things that i want to put together i'm probably not going to be doing a video but i got um something else that i need to put together before christmas eve and that i will do sometime this week and then i also need to pull down all of the kids uh, shirts for Christmas Day. So they'll be using the same shirts that we wore for the wedding this last summer. Um, or yeah, I think it was like fall, fall, summer-ish um, when you guys wore the dress shirts. So I will, um, so that's what I have to do this week and I have to wash all that. Nope, did you get two? Okay, so they all, most of them, I should say, need to have their hair cut. That's everything that I need to do before Saturday. And then Sunday, we will be making the turkey and getting everything ready for my big kids coming over. We were gonna possibly go to a church service on Sunday morning. I just found out about it. Um, it's not at our church, but it's at our like sister church, um, nearby 
but I don't know if that's going to work now because if I have to have the turkey in at a certain time and us be gone, I don't know if it's going to, if it's all going to line up the right way, but we are going to go Saturday at three o'clock. So that'll all be, um, be good. So I just went to the post office because I need to pick up something from there. I was hoping to get something else, um, from there. So I'm probably going to have to go back, but I ended up getting this nail kit and a little light so i am able to do my own nails i don't usually go get my nails done only because i work at a salon and i know how to do gel nails so i have pretty much everything on hand um for me to do my nails but i would like my nails to be done by saturday and sunday and when I, these are just regular OPI polish that I had on hand. And sometimes I'll do like a quick job at work or I'll just put gel on at work. But I was offered to share this product with you. So I'm going to get started here and get my nails done. And then I'm going to be working on getting that wreath done for youth group tonight. Today's video is sponsored by Madame Glam Gel Polish. I got three different colors. I got the Berry Fairy, the Deep Burgundy, and the Oh What Fun. So right now I'm just putting my lamp together to be able to um, apply the polish. It also comes with the cord and everything that you need um, to do your nails. So if you are familiar with getting gel nails done, this is pretty similar to the process if you were to go to a salon and get your nails done. So I'm able to do it from home because I'm used to putting this on other people at the salon. So right now I'm just taking all my polish off first and then I'm going to be applying the base color and then I will cure that underneath the light for 30 seconds. If you're interested in getting any of this gel polish, I will leave a link in the description and you will get 30% off automatically on your order. If you don't want to become a VIP member, you can just select the pay as you go option and you should be good with that. Uh, they also have other gel products on their site. So they have multiple things for you to pick and choose from. Um, so go check that out and I will leave everything down below. All right, so now I'm going to be putting one, the burgundy color on some of my nails and then I'm going to be applying the Oh What Fun color to just my ring finger. And all you need to do is just put a thin layer of color on. You don't want to put a lot on. All right, so now I'm putting on the Oh What Fun. All right, so I'm gonna cure this underneath the light for 60 seconds. I'm just doing my other hand now. All right, so now I'm gonna go and put my top coat on all my nails and I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. So I'm going to be making the uh, fruit wreath right now. Miles is going to help me. And it is close to 5 o'clock, 10 to 5. And we are going to head out at, why are you, wait, why are you up there? Lauren's, what is he doing? Lauren's upstairs and he never really goes upstairs. He just like sneak, snuck out, sneaked out. Okay. So we need to get the wreath done because we're going to go to youth group. The kids are going to go to youth group and I'm going to go shopping because I have to get some last minute stuff for Christmas. Nope. I'm taking, no, because I'm going to take the car. Yeah. And I'm going to go in and out, in and out. And it's really cold out. 
I think you're going to get mine. Mm, I don't know. Uh -huh. So, I talked about doing this wreath on my Christmas grocery haul, and that's what I'm going to make. So, I don't know if I can make it compared to the picture but we're gonna try. So Miles is gonna help me. I'm gonna show him what it looks like and then uh, see if we can do something similar. All right, so we are going to be doing a Christmas giveaway. I have two boxes that I wanna share with you guys. So if you guys are interested in doing this giveaway, all you need to do is write down one family tradition that you do during Christmas, and I will be doing a random pick for two winners. I'll come back in on New Year's Day to pick out two of you, and I will leave that down in the comment section. I also will notify you guys through the community tab on YouTube. So just on uh, New Year's Day, come back and check out who the two winners will be. All right, so the TV's on, sorry if it's if it's loud, but we were able to get this done. So I'm afraid that once we move it, it's gonna go all over the place. So this is just what it looks like without what I'm gonna put in the center. I know people have built it up more and put like a fruit dip in the middle. So then you'll have a bowl in the middle and it won't cause any, cause all the fruit to like cave in the middle. Um, but this is just what we're gonna go with. I also have some of these, uh, holiday rice krispies and this is what they look like so i don't think i'm gonna open them up at all i think we're just gonna put these in the center here and this is just gonna help um keep that fruit from falling down so i'm just gonna do this and then we'll just bring the extra box to you troop. So this is what I'm gonna do. Just pile this all in here. And I'll probably put some wrap around this so that it doesn't uh, um, fall all in the car when we bring it there. So this is what it looks like. I don't know how many I can get in there. I don't wanna ruin it either. Okay, I think I'm just gonna keep it this way. Okay, so we are finished with making the wreath. I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna end the video right here. Hopefully you guys um, have a good Christmas. I think this is the last video that you will see before, um, before Christmas. So hopefully you guys all have a Merry Christmas and don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.